नमस्ते गाइस वेलकम टू आई हो दिस इज माई फुल रिव्यू ऑन टूगा पावर वर्जन 88 एट ऑन वन प्लस वन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड गोइंग फर्स्ट टू द सेटिंग्स इन द अबाउट फोन वी फाइंड दैट द कर्नल इज साइनज इन मोड so this rom is basically based on cyanogen so being cyanogen we, uh, we get all the bounty of features that are cyanogen mode based we also have cyanogen themes features in this the reason why i switched to a power rom that it is cm based so you get all the features of cyanogen mode pre enabled we also have themes in built so we can change and customize in whatever which way we want to moreover it has exposed in built so there is just one step to enable expose it and you get all the bounty of modules that can uh, modify your phones and you can get the privileges of using all the uh, functions that are not available in your oneplus one basically uh, which are there on other phones like sony or htc you can redeem those features onto your oneplus one through this it gives you uh, root privileges from before it has super seo inbuilt and uh, it uh, it has wiper for android inbuilt also so that's a very good feature in audio tweaking it has the new music app it has new screen record app and there's this tuga browser which has ad block inbuilt anti malware as well as privacy mods inbuilt so it is quite powerful moreover there's a new module which is also inbuilt in this that is kcal color cal control It, it calibrates all the color functions that you want to use. Just everything is customizable. So this is quite a good feature, and I'm sure you'll love this. Super SE is nothing but it is kind of a super user that enables the apps to have root access. We could configure the apps which needed to be uh, given the root access or or which are to be prohibited with the root access through this. next is about phone here we can see the sanosion updates and normal about phone things with the tuga power branding this is a marshmallow based this is cm13 mod on official beacon version the build is 5th july 2016 we have the developers option as usual and this mod has multi window option so thumbs up for that then there is basic backup and reset printing language and input and storage and usb stuff accessibility and everything there is also weather app included in it we can choose a weather provider and then we are good to go normal date and time functions location google privacy so it it also has the privacy guard it has an option of enabling it by default privacy per app but we can also customize whether which app should have what access and which app should start at boot or keep running in the background etc next is block caller list we can block the calls and messages from whatever contacts we want to next is sanjeev mode statistics and the last one is protected apps this feature enables us to hide the apps so that people don't get an access to the apps which we don't want them to access next is accounts normal whatsapp gmail accounts then we go to apps here we can set by default apps and draw our apps etc this is a good feature because it enables us to optimize the battery life by not allowing the apps to run in background or use the battery when not needed next is status bar we get normal status bar icons the clock style is configurable right left center hidden even the battery status style is configurable there is brightness control notification count and quick pull down as well so normal sanitation stuff basically
here in security we get screen pinning option also this is useful when we need to pin a certain app onto the main screen so that even if we press a home button or even if we press the uh, menu button we do not we do not switch to any other apps so this is quite useful when we are monitoring something and which is needed to be on screen all the time there's gestures and build the lock screen is customizable also we have a feature of setting a live lock screen also here you can set uh, either the colors as live lock screen or you can download any of the live lock screens from the play store and it will be shown over here to enable rest all the stuff is normal sign mode based of course we have themes as i said earlier we can download as many themes as we want from the play store there's almost unlimited count of themes available so that's it with the settings the default camera app in this rom is snap camera and as we know snap camera is extremely powerful camera app since it has all the functions it suffices all the needs of the people so thumbs up for this thing also. besides we have new music app it is basically based on uh, apollo music player it is just that icons have changed rest all is same there is wiper, wiper for android that is v4a this is a very powerful music speaker it has a uh, it has a huge number of presets and the equalizer is powerful and the options we get on this are quite useful so, so if you are a music freak you will love this feature as well overall this rom is quite powerful quite snappy and fast and the performance of this rom quite commendable the battery life on this rom you can expect could be would be around uh, 4 hours or 4 to 4.5 hours or uh, on your moderate to light usage you can get up to 5.5 hours of uh, screen on time i have been using this rom for almost two days now and uh, using it heavily i have crossed around 4.5 hours of srt so it gets a huge thumbs up from my side on the battery life as well so th basically this is it for this rom and uh, the instructions to install this rom i have mentioned all the links in the description below so make sure to download all the files from there the recommended custom recovery version is the one which is provided by the tuga power that is twrp version 3.6 i will leave the link in the description below for the same also that is recommended but even if you uh, if you use the version 2.8.6.0 it would be fine it is also better and recommended to use the firmware of this rom uh, instead of using any other firmware since this firmware is built by Tuga Power team and uh, it will perform great on that firmware ROM and GApps are also mentioned in the link and uh, to wipe make sure that you do not wipe your uh, internal storage otherwise you need you will be in a fix so first you need to flash the recovery then the firmware then the ROM and the GApps that would be the steps and if you end up in boot loops then again i'll leave the link in the description below to how to escape the boot loops so make sure to check that out as well that's it guys if you have any doubts regarding this mention them in the comment section below please subscribe to our channel for more such content and if you like this video please hit like button thank you